Hello and welcome back to the Beef and Barnsley channel. Uh, today I'm coming to you from Mel's Lone Star Lanes up here in Georgetown, Texas. Um, I'm going to do a review of the Roto Grip Rubicon. Um, the ball is available today. Uh, so, um, yeah, let's see what we can do with it. Uh, we're going to bowl one game on last night's league shot. Um, I've got it right here with me, actually, obviously. Um, the one I'm going to use has got a five inch pin, um, a three and a half mass bias to uh, PAP, and then a four and a half inch pin buffer. So it should be a pretty continuous motion. Um, the lanes are a little bit over under, so hopefully this smoother reaction will uh, take care of that. So let's get after it. So with this layout, I'm going to really try and make sure that I get it to the dry. Um, so. And there we go. Getting that, um, getting the PA, uh, sorry, the PSA out by the, uh, right on the valve is really smooth that reaction. It makes it a much more continuous motion. Uh, you don't get that kind of stand up, which is ideal to attack a uh, broken down house shop. The one thing you will notice about the Rubicon with the new Rondor core, I think you'll find that you probably, for what you're expecting to see, it'll feel like the pin's about half an inch stronger than on a normal like symmetrical ball. The ball really flares a lot with the new uh, technology in the core. That's, that's what I like most about this, uh, about this cover. It's got no, uh, no additives, no particle, so it'll get through that front part of the lane and with the new Rondor core, it will really flare and it can allow you to play those angles and not really worry about too much transition. As you can see, like I was saying to you about the flare, um, it's quite a bit of flare, um, especially for a down ball. Um, typically, when I drill the balls uh, with, a, with the pin underneath the fingers, I tend to lean towards stronger pins, fours and four and a halves. Um, but no need with this new Rondo core. Yep, I think I might be in love. Um, this is a ball that really allows me to play those angles and not worry about the overbounce. Um, certainly not with this layout anyway. Um, the only time that I've actually come into any trouble with this was when they got really tight down the lane. And when that happened, I just uh, changed over to the one that I had with a shorter pin buffer, a uh, longer pin and shorter pin buffer, and that kind of uh, eradicated those issues. That was close. See, on that shot, I feel like that's one of the problems I've been having in my own game. I just kept it in the oil a little bit too long. I didn't get my angle as open as it needed to be. So it was a little bit too smooth. Thought I'd missed that. Um, so, but it wasn't a very good shot and I still had the messengers dancing across the deck to try and get to that 10 pin. So that gives you a lot of confidence for me anyway, that I know that even if I do miss in the oil, it's not that 210 reaction. So it doesn't make me want to over grab the next one. Um, so here we go. Didn't really get it to the right, but I kept my hand more up the back of it, so I kind of smoothed out that reaction a little bit more. Um, 
yeah, don't really know what to say about that one. I feel like the lane guy helped me out more than anything else on that last one. There we go. See, that's exactly what I was looking to do. Um, got my hand up the back of it, got it out to the right, smoothed out that transition really well. Um, the thing that I've found to be really cool about this ball is it kind of, it really fits a lot of purposes. Like for me, I have it as just above kind of my idols and stuff. Phase two is just a, lot, a little bit stronger than those. But for my wife, this is actually one of the strongest balls in her bag because she has a lot less speed. Something like, say, the UFO, it's really difficult for her to get down the lane unless she plays on, like, a ton of oil. Whereas this ball actually ends up hooking more for her because it holds its energy through that first part of the lane and then it allows it to have more, uh, more motion down the lane. Off hit central right there. Bit grabby, got away with it. I'm gonna move a little bit further in. Um, probably like, probably move my eyes in like three or four. Try and keep it a little more in the oil now to see if we can create that nice shape. There we go. So the ball's versatile enough that you can use speed, keep it in the keep it in the oil, just roll a little bit more, and you can still get that. You know, it's still got enough uh, core, enough engine to get through it. Um, the other option for me. I'll, uh, I'll try that now. Would have been to move a little bit to the right, stay a little bit more up the back of it, go a little bit firmer, make sure I get it right, and just kind of roll it in there. Just like that. So, uh, I, like I say, I'm not always a huge fan of these lower, uh, the lower pins or the, uh, the larger pin buffers, but I feel like with this core, it gives me so much more drilling versatility. Um, let's see if I can uh, finish this game off. Um, I think I quite like that reaction, so let's see if I can finish it off doing that. Right there. And that isn't the normal move that I would make. That's not what I feel most comfortable doing. I would normally just chase it left. But that's, that's the difference between these balls. Being, for me, personally, having those more options with the layouts than you would have with a normal symmetrical ball is, is awesome. Um, so. Yep, I think that the fact that I can do that with a layout that in a symmetrical ball, I just, I'd really struggle to have that much versatility with my hand and having the, uh, the, the core that allows you to have that like kind of tame and mass bias um, is, is fantastic. It gives you so many more options um, of all how, you, how you can use the ball and where you want it to sit, fit in your bag. Oh, that would have been too much to ask. So, there we go. Um, the Rubicon, uh, available today. Um, check out your local pro shops, uh, September 4th. Um, and uh, 
Give us a, uh, a like on the video and a subscribe uh, for more of this stuff. Uh, take it easy, guys.